Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Really, really appreciate anybody who watched the last video on the MagnaFlow exhaust install. That was really fun. It's a really nice system, so please check out that video. I'll make sure I put a link in the corner. But today, we're gonna install the Eventuri Cold Air Carbon Fiber Intake. This thing's pretty interesting looking. I'm very excited to see how it looks installed in person. Uh, I've seen some videos online from some of our customers, but we had to wait for this ourselves. Um, so. Let's get to it and uh, let's follow us through with step by step on how to do this. So we reverted this car back to stock so we can actually show you guys actually how everything's gonna be done. So we're gonna start taking this factory intake system apart uh, along with this part. We're gonna change this back to our carbon fiber piece from MV Specialties. It'll match really well with the intake we think. So um, Caleb's gonna assist and we're gonna just get into this and we'll give you guys some step by steps on it. So on this, we're gonna be removing the piece. There's, there's actually an elbow that goes back down. Uh, we're gonna be removing the part from here forward. And then this is another part as well. We're gonna take the sensor off. So let's get that unplugged. Let's get that. Let's get this off to the side. Out the way. Okay. So we're gonna end up taking this out. Uh, just be careful with these threads. Don't cross thread them. Just be super careful with them. They're delicate. Set that there. Take this out. This is just like pressed in here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this out, and lift up, and you're gonna be able to remove this whole thing. I'm gonna take this hosing out. One thing, we just removed the sensor. I always put these uh, screws back in. I've mentioned this in other videos. Uh, I always put these back in. The aftermarket systems usually use a different screw head. So I just like to put these back here so I know exactly where they're at. We're looking for a um, little teeny cap. Let's get this guy out. Set this off to the side. We're gonna need that. So we're gonna remove that hose and then we're gonna cap it right at the T. So we're gonna be pulling it off just like this. And then we're gonna put a cap right back on top as that whole section from the intake is not gonna be used anymore. So we're removing this for now. All right guys, so now that we got the main box out of here, uh, we disconnected this plug. Uh, we got this one unplugged here. So, and we took out that vacuum line. We're going to remove this in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, front piece removed right here. And Caleb's gonna start working on this back piece. Uh, we gotta take this hose out as well as the one that goes straight down. To do an easier job, you've seen the video where we actually remove this cowl. You can do that. The instructions don't tell you. Uh, refer to our suspension install video and you can check that out. It's going to be a lot easier to actually get in there. It's probably like five minutes worth of work to get this out, but we're going to do it the hard way just to show you guys how it's actually done. All right guys, let me narrate what's going on in the back. So this is how it's actually positioned back there. And you have to reach behind there and pull these bolts out. You have to unthread them with the socket and a wrench very, very easily. And that's why I said like taking the call off is a lot easier. It will actually save you a lot of time. Um, so that's what's going on. This will slide out. It just comes out just like you guys just saw. These bolts are attached to the bracket system back there behind the back of the motor. But once you undo these, you just slide this thing out and we're gonna be reusing the coupler back there for the Eventuri intake. All right guys, so this is the new replacement part that Eventuri supplied us. They also supplied us with a new bolt. You're not gonna reuse these two bolts. These were with the factory one held on. You notice the factory had two. Uh, this is probably nice and secure with just one bolt. So they're gonna give us a bolt. We're gonna put this one in here. It's gonna be included in your kit. We're gonna mount this in here. We're gonna get this in the coupler. It's got a nice lip on it. I really like that. And then we're gonna tighten it down right on the, the ring back there, which is gonna be the eight or the 10 millimeter. And then we're gonna place the, uh, remember when we took that vacuum hose? So we're gonna be taking this vacuum line right here and we're gonna be placing that in here. And then we're gonna be able to mount the box right to here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get this tray off so that we can get this off the, out of the way and start working on that at the same time. So you can see where Caleb's loosening that clamp. Just a ringworm clamp. This is gonna slide right in here. I'm gonna hand it to him right now. I'm just gonna get that around there. I'm not gonna scratch this carbon fiber. I'm just gonna drop that in place right there. And here's where that top bolt is. So this is really easy to get back in place. I'm gonna let him take control of it real quick. So sometimes you might wanna use like a soapy solution to get it in, or you just gotta kinda rotate it like this. But you'll know when it's right because 
the, the bracket will line up with the bracket on the top right there. This little guy here. So this is just gonna mount in. I'm gonna wait for Caleb to get his hand out the way. But this is just gonna mount and set in place right here. So it's just not uh, kind of like loose and running around on us, making any extra noises. So I really like that feature. So there it is, it's just dropping in right there. So now that this is secured and we got the bolt in and we got this mounted, uh, we're gonna wanna clear this area up because we're gonna be working with the box now. And uh, we're, so we're gonna get these out. This is pretty straightforward. It's simple, simple. Okay, so we'll get this. We'll set this off to the side. So now that I got the tray off, we need to remove these two pieces. It's the same tool. We're just gonna get underneath here, lift these up. And I'm not gonna drop these. I'm gonna get this guy. Get this one up. Okay. So this is just clipped in here. So this one just lift it up. Seriously. There's a little teeny thing right there you can push on to get it out. Okay, so what I had to do is I was pushing on both of these. So I just, with this tool, I just pushed on this section and this section here. Uh, I'm sure with some force, you'll be able to pull this out. But what this does, when this is in place here, okay, that's how it sits. This is actually bringing air right from this section right up into there. So Aventuri has a new piece that we're gonna put in there. I think it's really slick. I'll show you guys how that works in just a minute. I don't know what you wanna call this. This is like the air ramp. This is what's gonna force the air up into this box. So they want us to put this in down here like this. And in this hole, the one that had that clip that was included, they want us to actually nut and bolt it with this. And this side, we can just use the actually factory push pin. So I'm gonna put that in first just to get this thing lined up. To finish this up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my bolt through here. That's what this is gonna look like. And I have to reach in underneath through here with my hand to get this threaded. And this is not gonna be easy and you do not want to drop it. I gotta put the washer on first and then I gotta put the nut all in the same time. Yeah, so once you get the bolt, you can hold it with your fingers. It's not that bad. You can just kind of get it in here like this. And I think the, they put an extra long bolt on so that you can actually get it in with your hand. And I'm actually just holding it with one of my fingers now. And as I get this tighter, I can just let go and I don't even really have to put a socket or anything in underneath. So I'm just gonna secure this, get this nice and tight. This one's got the factory push pin in there. We're gonna move on to the next step. So we got some Allen keys here. Actually, they're like a star almost. So this is gonna go here. It's got the directional arrow there. You wanna be very careful with this and not to touch any of these little sensors or anything in there. So guys, this is an E20. We had to go dig for this guy, but we do use this on a lot of European cars. We're gonna make sure the directional arrow flows the correct way that the air flows. And we're gonna put these back in. Remember I told you guys we don't reuse the stock ones. So every manufacturer usually provides extra ones and we put our stock ones back in the factory system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get these threaded without the socket or the ratchet. A couple good threads on these. And there's actually, if you can see it, there's actually like a rubber seat right there. It's a rubber O-ring. So I'm gonna kind of space this apart when I, I'm not gonna wrench down on one side too much. I'm just gonna kind of balance out. All right guys, I just kind of set this in place just to see what it's gonna look like. I think it's really cool how they have this um, indention here to kind of clear this. Um, but let's do what they want us to. We wanna get the coupler on here. And then we got two, th two pieces, which are these. So these pieces right here, these need to just press into this. It's a pretty slick idea here. So these are gonna come in here. We're gonna get our coupler. I'm gonna put it like this so we can access the bolts super easy. So I loosened these up, these, these rings. Uh, this is a really nice coupler. It's actually, it's a double hump hose. So this will create a lot of extra flex um, and a lot of longevity too. So we're just gonna get this over top of the carbon. And she is a tight fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually stick my clamp over top here and just set it in place and then I'm going to get this so I can manipulate it a little bit with my hands and get this around where I need to. So I got this set perfectly and what I was going to show you is I can feel it. It's right around like consistently with this actually this groove right here. So now I'm going to bring my clamp back carefully without dragging it across the carbon. I'm going to bring it up here. Rotate it around. 
and I'm gonna tighten it. I'm not gonna over tighten it. I'm gonna do a last minute tighten when we finish everything up. But I got this so it's not gonna actually go anywhere. And again, it's all lined up nice and evenly around the, the carbon itself here. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my clamp on like we did last time, do it the right way. I'm just gonna kind of set it over top of here and I gotta get my clamp perfectly in here. So if you guys know me, I like my clamps to line up nice and clean. Okay, so that's all good. It's nice and tight in there. And so that's where I'm gonna tighten this guy up right there. And again, I'm not gonna super tighten this because we do have to make sure we got all the adjustments lined up properly first. So one of them is these things need to line up with these holes here. I got some bolts for that. These are super tiny, but they do the job and they look really clean. Really cool, look at the detail how that says GRC right on it. So you know that this isn't just some kit made from another car and adapted. So they made this bracket specifically for this. So guys, this is a three millimeter. So I happen to have one on our socket. I'm just gonna drop that in place right there. I'm gonna get this one nice and tight. And then I am gonna actually check this before I tighten anything again, as I mentioned before. So guys, I'm gonna line this up and just see what we're working with here. Again, these aren't tight yet because we need to adjust this. This is a, a foam seal that's gonna press it. The, it's gonna force the air straight in there, but you don't want the air going anyplace else. So this is gonna set in just like this. But before we do this, let's put our tray back in place, our radiator cover, so that we can get this at the proper height and everything. All right guys, so I'm gonna loosen this up here. This is a really nice secure point here that they picked. It actually mounts right to the frame rail. And then the other bracket that I was just showing you is gonna, we're gonna nut and bolt it right through here. So but before I go further and actually install that, I'm gonna tighten up my three millimeter Allen heads too. Everything looked to line up pretty good. So let me get that guy. Get him. So we're good. And there's supposed to be a little bit of play, obviously. That's why they reuse the rubber bushings. See, we got all the carbon back. We got our radiator cover here. So we're gonna drop this thing down in place. It's gonna fit just perfectly. Slide this thing down here. Just like that. And that's gonna go right into that bolt right there. So by pressing this, pushing it this way, it's gonna create that seal nice and tight. So I'm gonna get that guy started. Come back and hit it with the ratchet real quick. All right guys, so I'm gonna come in and tighten this bolt up real quick. They want us to drop the, the nut through. I'm sorry, the bolt through there, and then they want us to put the washer and then the nut, which is what I got in my hand here. The nut's gonna go this way, facing up. So that is the bottom. So let me reach through here. Got that. Get a couple good threads on that guy. Be careful not to drop stuff. All right, guys, so we got a couple things left to do. Uh, we went through everything, we, we secured everything, we tightened these bolts here. We gotta plug this in, so we're gonna grab this guy. We're gonna plug him in here, make sure it clicks. So there she goes. We're gonna push this back underneath here so it's not in the way. Rotate this a little bit, let's clip. I don't want that mounting, so I have these zip ties actually in my hand just for that. Uh, but first I'm gonna zip tie this. We're not gonna reuse this sensor. So I'm gonna zip, push this up under here and I'm gonna zip tie it right here. Just so it's out of the way and not really bouncing around too much. So we'll get that cut and just leave that down here like this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna zip tie this right down here so they don't have anything kind of rubbing around a little bit. So let me blindly do this real quick. This way this won't be bouncing on anything and this bracket won't do anything. And this is uh, loose enough where we got any vibrations or anything, we're not gonna have any issues. 
The other thing we did is we made sure that this was true and they both lined up. Uh, so these don't actually like push really hard together, but they're just sandwiched together nice. So they're gonna have like vibration and stuff, but the angle, this and this are on the same plane is the easiest way to say it. So we did a little bit of adjustment there off camera, but other than that, everything's looking really, really good. All right, guys, we're gonna opt to put this back on. We're still waiting for our Even Shuri uh, valve cover to come in, but in the meantime, we're just gonna rock our stock one here. We actually added the carbon accents with the red stripes. This will look really good with the full carbon all around. I mean, we got the MV Specialties here, and we got the MV Specialties box with the Even Shuri carbon intake. All we need is a carbon engine cover. So I'll leave the choices up to you guys. Um, let us know what you guys think of this intake, the way the design is, uh, but let's get it started up and let's see how much noise this makes. catch this on camera I got the windows cracked a little bit but you can hear the intake you can hear it building the boost and you can hear it when I release the throttle uh, it's not overly obnoxious and it's not overly powering uh, I can't really hear the turbo like whistle like winding up or anything but uh, I like the sound of it so far uh, in neutral if I just rev it I'm not really gonna hear anything just just a little bit Let's do a little baby pull here and we'll see what we get. Sorry. Let's check it. Let's try it with the window closed. Let's see what we get. Let's keep going. So third gear, 4,000. Let's go to fourth and let's see if we can hear it build the boost. Now, but you can definitely hear it when I when I pull off the throttle. Let's try a third gear, 4,000 RPM, and try to build a little boost, a pop at the top. I like the sound of it. It's not overpowering, like I just said. of the way the turbo works and everything like that that about wraps up today's video really appreciate you guys watching uh, please check below we're gonna list all the tools that we actually use we found there's a couple that weren't listed in the instructions um, so we'll get hopefully there's some tips in the video when you guys purchase your intake check the link below and uh, if you want to work out a package deal or anything just give us a call uh, talk to one of our inside sales guys and we'll work something out with you guys so see you guys on the next video and if you have any comments please leave them below and if you want to see something specific please also just leave that below